So we're looking at how you can write something to a file in SQL Server. Instead of having to use VB or say like C Sharp, we're going to go directly from SQL Server and write something to a text file. How do we do that? Well, basically, it's not magic. It, this stuff down here, this is like SP, OA, create, and OA method, and OA destroy. This is just, these are basically stored procedures that are built into SQL Server. And it's like anything else. You open up a file system object. Um, you open up the file, you write the line, you close everything up, and you're good, just like any other programming language. But this is an awful lot of stuff to have to write every time you want to do that. So I just took a few minutes, and I built a stored procedure called huh, write to file, and it just takes two parameters. It takes the file, which, by the way, is the full path of the file on your operating system with the file name with it, whether the file actually exists or not. This will not create directories, but it will create the file if the file is not there yet. If it is there, it'll just simply append to it. And text in this case is just what we're writing to the file. So instead of having to write all this stuff every time, what we're going to do is just call the stored procedure. It's got the database name, DBO for database owner, and then write to file. And then these are the two parameters. This is the um, complete full path of the file. And this is what we're trying to write. Did it work? Let me just show you. There's nothing in this directory right now. Acme log files. So we're going to do that. Now, by the way, the first time you do this, SQL Server will complain, and it, it'll break. And this is what it looks like. Basically gives you, it, it had to go through all this to say, is blocked, blah, 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 blah. This SPOA create stuff will not work out of the box. It's turned off. All you have to do is run this script, and you don't even have to memorize this. All you have to do is take this error, stick it into Google, and it'll come back. Every site that comes up will have this on it. All you do is run it. It runs fine. It says, you know, this was turn of this, and blah, 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 and then you're good to go. Now, when you run this, it works. Now, if we go over here, see, SQL Server just created this, uh, basically, this log file. If I double click it, did it work? So we actually just made that from scratch. Now, you have to be an administrator um, when you turn this stuff on. Otherwise, it won't work. So it depends how you're set up. Now, if you want this to be a little more pleasing to the eyes, when you're calling this, instead of having one line with all this stuff on it, you might want to break it up a little bit. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm declaring a variable called path and another one called text. I'm setting them to a lot bigger than they ever need to be. I'm setting them here. And then finally, this is the line that actually does what I need it to. It calls a stored procedure. It says path. It says text. So I'm just going to run this here. You see it runs fine. But if you'll notice, now that it ran again, it didn't create another file. It just basically added to it, which is what you would really want in a log file. Last but not least, I just want to show you one other thing real quick. Um, what you may want to do is, instead of having one monster uh, log file, you may decide that you want to have a different log file every day. So that if you're looking for something last November, you don't have to look through you know, um, megs and megs and megs of superfluous data. Here, there's a little bit more information, but I'm basically taking, you know, the year, the month, and the day out of the current date and time. And basically what's going to happen at the end of the day is, before it runs this, it's going to create a log file, but instead of just saying log.txt, it's going to put a date stamp. What it's also going to do is, if there's any months with single digits, or days at single digits, it's going to pop a zero in front of it. Uh, actually, it's not going to do that because I forgot to set that up. But let me just run this. Boom. There we go. And now, when we go look in our directory, whoops, how'd that happen? My documents, Acme. There we go. So now it basically has the data appended to it. Did it work? And basically, that's how you use SQL Server to write a log file.